safety committee then met promptly with the representative from the Mitchell um, Rescue Squad Service on Thursday concerning the anticipated increase in transports due to the hospital closing. Mitchell has already spoken with Bamberg and the LDL Rescue Squad concerning mutual aid if needed. Mitchell has already talked to his employers about being on call and said call volumes of transport times are increased. Uh, the many things that went out and many calls have taken place, we reached out to our uh, legislative de delegation as well in response to that and several other contacts and um, prospects that we know of. We've also spoken with citizens, several citizens over the last several days have had um, a few unsolicited contacts from companies interested in helping the start of an urgent care facility. Tonight we've also we discussed the best and other health care options and uh, services and providers. Today we met with Ms. Show again, I think the committee, um, this morning and they're doing all they can to ensure the rescue service for our county continues at the levels needed. There has been, there's not been any increase in call volumes, but transport times have increased due to patients no longer being accepted at Southern Palmetto Emergency Room. Please be assured, one and all, citizens and industrial community, that the council is working as quickly and as diligently as possible to restore urgent care services here in Baltimore County for our citizens and or the full restoration of the hospital. Amen. With saying that, we're going to move into public comments. We ask that um, you approach the mic and please, ma'am, please, sir, state your name. Uh, three minutes if you're speaking individually, 10 minutes if you're speaking on behalf of a, a group. Please identify the group um, you'll be speaking on behalf of. So at this time, um, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, the first one, so please. Three minutes individually. Thank you. Ten minutes if you're on behalf of group. Please state your name and or group if that be the case. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Is this the live mic? Uh, yeah, it is. I'd like to say good evening to all my neighbors and friends. Good to see you. I'm Charlie Neal. I'm a citizen of, of, of Baltimore. I live right here in the city. I've been here since 1975. And ironically, the thing that brought me to Baltimore County was that I, I landed me after the service. I landed me a job at the Baltimore County Hospital. And I uh, worked there under the administration of Mr. Diner Weeks and enjoyed a beautiful tenure and got a chance to care for and meet a lot of the citizens of Barnes. So it's good to see you again. I'm gonna make my time short because it's already short. What I want to tell you is, uh, for 2015, that's when I became a, uh, a, a triple, I got my triple bypass. And I had three stents. And then it's been within the last 60 days that I had uh, my pacemaker put in. So uh, I just want to tell you that I'm very, very concerned about the outcome of this because I already know that if I reach over there and touch my wife tonight and uh, tell her that I got some sharp chest pains uh, and that the left side is kind of numb, now, I, I realize that if I tell her that, they got what they call the golden hour. And that's the, the time that's that the doctor said, if you haven't gotten to your source of health by then, it might be just a tad too late. So I'm very concerned not only for myself, because I'm not the only one with stents, I'm not the only one with a pacemaker, and uh, I'm not the only one whose life is challenged. Uh, this was a week ago that they had the wreck, almost a head-on collision. All of those people needed to get to a hospital, and it needs to be local. I implore you, if there's anything I can do, I'm done with my little speech. I wanted to get your attention and let you know that I, too, have some medical concerns that I'd lose my life if the call came tonight. Couldn't get, Aiken would not be close enough. Orangeburg wouldn't be close enough. That's what they tell me. And I'm not by myself, and I'm not up here talking about Charlie. I'm out here talking about all of the citizens of Barnwell County. We all got that same golden hour to get to the hospital and get to some medical services, get the bleeding stopped, and get us stabilized. We need something here if it's no more than a triage where you actually separate the, the real sick from the not so sick and get them on out of here. We need something over there if there's no more than that. And the last thing that I'm going to say on it is this. Be prepared. This is something that county council, city council, nobody's going to like me for. What I got to tell you is, 
expect to lose money. It's going to be a money losing proposition. You're not going to make money. I, I worked out there five or six years. And sometimes I come in now and you got two patients <clears throat> to pay all of them bills. You see what I'm saying? So already know we're not going to make no money on this. We're going to lose money. But the money that we lose are going to save the lives of those that we love. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all very much. Did I go over? Yes, ma'am. See your hand. Yes, ma'am. Young lady, I see.
Aldale, I don't know if you all know, Aldale County Hospital is a critical access um, hospital. Um, they have that designation. And to sell to another for-profit, I think this is the mistake. And I have several <coughs> friends that the hospital has saved their lives. Um, one few doors down from me, twice um, in the last year. And um, I just beg you to act quickly, efficiently, but also smartly and, and, and in seeking knowledge from others so that we don't get in the same bind again. Yes, Thank you. Good evening. My name is Monty Hosey, representative for District 91 to include Aldea Barnwell in Orangeburg County. Uh, to you, County Council, the young man is going to let the old man speak first tonight. And so, but if you're serious about what's, what has taken place and not have come here to argue or either point fingers, but to come to find a way to where we can put this community back together quickly and as you can, as quick as you can. Uh, I've had several calls I'm going to share with you. I'm sure you have about some folk want to come and help us. I hope that we all put it all together and see what's best for our community. That's what it's all about. I had a bowel in that hospital in 1965. I was there for 12 days. 
that were hernia operations. I was there again in 2010 with urinal tract infection. And I'll tell you what, I can always remember the hospital being there close to, so I could get there as quick as Charlie needed to be there and rather than to drive a long distance. So I pray that uh, we all work together and do what we can to make this happen as quickly as we can. We know that it's not going to happen tomorrow, but with patience, with, with procedures, with, with God on our side, we will make it work. We've got to stay together. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. <coughs> Chairman, Council, uh, thank you for hearing from me today. Um, Justin Bamberg, for those of you who may not know, uh, represent House District 90, which is Bamberg, Barnwell, and Colleton counties. Uh, specifically over in Barnwell, I represent uh, Klein, uh, Friendship, Hilda, uh, but I represent all of Barnwell County. And uh, the reason I'm here is, um, of course, to let you as a council know that I am here. And uh, as you all move forward and you know look for ways to address the health care situation here in Baldwin County, I will continue to be here. Um, you know, for the citizens in the audience, uh, you're the main reason why I'm here today. And the reason I say that is because I want you to keep hope, okay? Y'all know I'm from Bamberg County. We've been through this, okay? I remember very clearly and I've told this story numerous times. I tell it at the State House in Columbia when I'm fighting for rural health care. I remember when I was in college and my mother had problems breathing one night in the middle of the morning because she had walking pneumonia. Fortunately for her, Amber County Hospital was open. It's my belief that if our hospital was not open, my mother would not be here. And Unfortunately, and I tell everybody in the state this, is that is the reality of what is going on and what is going to happen unless the state steps up and does what it needs to do to address health care problems in rural South Carolina. Sickness and death don't care if you're a Democrat. It doesn't care if you're a Republican. It doesn't care if you're black or if you're white. It affects all of us the same way. That is the message that I am taking with me to the state house. Representative Posey, I've been in touch with him and Brad Hutto, our senator. We are going to continue to fight for rural health care. Council, we're with you 100% of the way. Mr. Chairman, you know, we talked earlier uh, last week. Anything y'all need, y'all call. Okay? Uh, we're going to get through this, and we're going to get through this together. And it's not going to be easy, and it's not going to happen overnight. But we can do it. Why? Because we have no choice. Okay? Thank you all so much. <clears throat> I went to Charleston because I could not wait to get out of this place. I could not stand. 